it's 11 p.m. Tomorrow morning I have to wake up early to go to shoot a video. And I still haven't packed my bag. I guess I'm gonna have to do it now. Let's do it. Okay, let's start with the backpack. I got this from Amazon. It's not bad at all, because it has all these customizable compartments that you can set pretty much the way you want with the Velcro. And I'm not gonna tell you how to put your things inside and where exactly, because that's a personal thing. You might have your own personal preferences, of course. But generally, I put my main camera right here on the top. And besides all these customizable compartments, what I like about this backpack is the pockets. There's uh, one where you can easily store your laptop, all kinds of pockets with zippers and enough space to put whatever. Well, let's see what I put inside this backpack, like for my next shooting, like tomorrow. Well, the first thing I can think of is tripods. In this case, mini tripods, because they give me more flexibility and they don't occupy much space. The Joby Gorilla Pod, the 3K here, and the Joby Gorilla Pod 5K, which are awesome. When I want to walk around, I just set it like this. I might just bend this this way so the camera stays on top, facing like towards me, with a flip screen out, and it's pretty comfortable, reliable. If I want to use it like as a regular tripod, I can put it straight up, open the legs, and it stays. Pretty solid, but you have already seen this in my previous video. So let's skip this. Let's talk cameras. Of course, I bring with me my Canon 90D. I cannot show it to you right now because it's currently filming. It's an awesome camera to take uh, very good photos, very good videos and time lapses and everything. But I can show you my B camera. It's a little jewel, so small, so cute. I love it. And what I love about this, of course, is the flip out screen and the overall quality. And I can use this, for example, if I'm um, shooting a time lapse with the 90D, I can't be idle for like uh, 15 or 20 minutes waiting for the time lapse to be, to be done. So I can shoot with this and it's very high quality anyway. And I can also, for example, film myself while shooting with the 90D. Otherwise, I, I could I do that. For what concerns the M50, I'm bringing, of course, the kit lens, 15 to 45 millimeters, but I also, I'm gonna bring two adapters. One is the regular adapter, the Viltrox mount adapter EF EOS M, which allows me to put any EF, EFS lens on the Canon M50. But also, I always bring with me the Viltrux. Here it says mount adapter EF EOS M2 071X. On the Canon M50, the image is cropped by 1.6. So instead of uh, seeing this as you would see it at a 50 millimeters on a full frame, you would see more like an 80 millimeters or something like that. But when you put it on this Viltrox M2 0.71X, aka speed booster on the M50, it would become more like 
a 50 something, 58 millimeters. So similar to full frame, not quite like a full frame, but close enough. This, it's an F1.8. With the speed booster, it will become 1.4 or 1.2, I can't remember. I'm not sure, I'll put it here in the screen somewhere when I will look into this. Can't remember because I, I don't generally use the maximum aperture because the image tend to be a little bit soft. Not much, but I like it better already at 1.8, uh, 2.0. Ah, another thing about the speed booster, the Viltrux and the adapter is that while on the adapter you can attach any EF, EFS lens, on the speed booster you can put only EF lenses, no EFS, unless you hack your lens and potentially break it. You don't want to do that. If you want to use an EFS lens on the Canon M50, use the regular adapter, not the speed booster. What other lens am I gonna bring with me? Well, for sure, as you already know, try to guess, it's the best lens for vlogging, and not only, of course. 10 to 18 millimeters. It's my favorite. I love it. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so light. It's so beautiful. This produces great results. I have on the Canon M50 the 15 to 45 millimeters, and I can put any other lens I have with the adapter, and I'm going to use the EF in EFS lenses on the Canon 90D. So I have the wide angle lens, 10 to 18 millimeters, a 50 millimeters for close up shots, uh, B rolls, and another great lens that I cannot show you right now because I'm currently filming with it is the 24 millimeters, the pancake only for crop sensors. And the quality of this lens on the Canon 90D is just great, I love it. There is another lens that I literally adore and the colors it produces are just amazing. It's the 55 to 150 millimeters. It's very lightweight, the autofocus is great, it works perfectly. How do I use it? I don't generally shoot wildlife, airplanes, even though, I mean, I would like to, why not? but I use it more like for b-rolls and for uh, candid shots. I, I do have other lenses, but I think this is what I usually carry with me when I, when I go out here in Madrid to, to shoot. Other thing, the microphone. The Rode Vita Micro with the dead cat on it. This can block the wind. Even in a very windy day, you will not hear that in the video. It's one of the cheapest Rode microphones and I think it's one of the best, if not the best one in the price range. I forgot to mention, I hate it when there is dust on the lens. So I always carry this. <laughs> Let's say it's a windy day and it's dusty. Before and after shooting, you may want to check if your lens got dirty or if some dust entered in the lens, because it happens. Even though there is a UV filter, some dust managed to enter anyway. But with this, you can remove most of it and you're good to go. I usually clean the lens more thoroughly when I'm back home. Filters, never enough. Like ND filters, polarized filters. These, this is some Manfrotto for smartphones, and this is JJC. Why do I use these? I have two wonderful cameras, why would I use the phone? Well, as I said, for example, when I want to see myself shooting with the Canon 90D, I use the M50. Well, what if I wanna show myself shooting with the Canon 90D and the Canon M50 filming the scene and I want to show this all at the same time. Well, I can use the phone and I can mount it on this, one of these. And this is when I really need and I use the Manfrotto tripod. I have two of these, by the way. And I can put my smartphone here, push the button and move the way you want. You can angle it for vlogging also like this or as a tripod. 
which is actually what this is supposed to do. Other thing, a uh, light. Because you know, sometimes even if there is enough light to get the shot, what if uh, you need some more light on your face or some more light in your eyes to have that sparkle inside the eye? I use this. It's a uh, newer, new, newer, newer. And it makes so much light. You can control the intensity from uh, 1 to 99 and it's really really strong. Now there's no battery in here and I have three. One I left it in the other room. I'm not gonna bring three LED lights with me tomorrow. I have another one here. It's this one highlighting my face here on this side with an orange filter to make the color, the skin tone more agreeable. I uh, have another thing. It's a steady cam like a manual gimbal. The name is Lesh P. Honestly, I find it really, really difficult to balance. And even when I manage to balance it, when I film with it, it feels like, I don't know, like a boat in the ocean during a storm. So I don't know. Um, I just mentioned that I have it and I try to use it every now and then, but I'm not gonna bring this with me tomorrow. Batteries for the M50 and two batteries plus the one inside for the 90D. Of course, you shouldn't forget your SD cards. Don't forget to save your things, save your videos, save your footage, whatever you have in the SD card, and then format it. So you will have a fresh SD card ready to shoot. If you shoot 4K, you wanna get at least 64 gigabytes SD cards. I'm gonna get some rest now. Tomorrow I'm gonna get up early, I'm gonna get some awesome footage. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. It's gonna take four f ever to edit.